All right, so in the last lecture, I gave you some examples on how to use uh, middleware, right? Well, in this lecture right here, we're going to actually build something that makes a little bit more sense and that way you can see the use of it, right? First of all, let's just uh, comment this out real quick here. We can't have two returns because only one return will execute. But anyway, let's go. We have a row middleware here, so actually let's make use of that, all right? Oh, let's clean this up a little bit. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna create a rows table, and we're gonna keep a row for the user there, and we're gonna create a middleware that's going to detect if the user is a has a role of admin. All right, so let's first create a migration for that. That's the first thing that we gotta do. Just make sure that our migration is set up. So PHP artisan make migration and then we're gonna say actually we'll create a model we'll call it role there we go that is good enough and let's let me just sync this <coughs> excuse me all right we have the the role right here okay the next step is we need to create a relationship all right. Now, one thing that I want to do is I want to go to the the users migration and insert a user ID. Okay. So let's say let's go here to the users, and just because we don't have that much information, let's just uh, it's not a user ID. I'm sorry, a role ID. Just because we don't we don't have that much information, I'm not going to create a table, uh, an extra column with a migration but I'm just gonna refresh it alright so let's just do this integer and we're gonna say role ID here okay and we're just gonna refresh our migrations and here in roles let's create a role name real quick alright so that's the first thing we gotta do. And let's do PHP artisan migrate refresh. All right, cool. Now let's set up our relationship real quick. Let's go to the user and actually to the to the role. And here we are going to do the protected excuse me I'm gonna make sure that the name is available for us to use all right and let's go back to the user and let's create this relationship here and we're gonna say role there we go and we're gonna return this belongs to okay there we go Oops. All right, so I think we're done uh, doing this first part. We have the migration. We uh, created a new column here, user ID, I mean role ID, okay? And uh, the next thing for us to do is, you know, create the middleware and then just create a couple more functionalities there so that way you can see how we can use the middlewares uh, when detecting uh, when filtering HTTP requests in our application. It's going to be pretty cool, okay? So I want you to pay very close attention and don't skip these lectures. They're super important for your development. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next lectures.